Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm finally going to be obtaining my Diamond Griever mount. And, like the idiot that I am, I forgot that my mic was turned off, so everything I recorded earlier was done with no audio. So, I've already acquired my mount, so we're just going to read the text of the Diamond Griever. Now, before we get into that, I don't really have much of a backstory on how I got this mount, but I do have a little PSA for some of you people out there. Now, when you are joining a fresh prog group, try not to be a douchebag to the other people in your group who die consistently and constantly to almost everything in the fight for the very first time. Alright? Just because you know what you're doing and you know the fight doesn't give you the right to talk down or talk to like a piece of shit to everybody else. Take that and shove it somewhere else. And I think you know where. Alright? Because someone decided to basically tell me, you keep dying all the time, so don't bother doing this before the poll. Alright? Nice person that was. And that basically made me quit learning the fight for at least a couple days. So be mindful of other people because you just don't know what their mindset is during that point in time and day. So with that out of the way, it took me about 34 kills to get this mount. I only saw a drop twice. The first one I rolled a 25. The second one I rolled a 75. Everybody else was like in the chat saying, oh, I rolled a 4, I rolled 11, or a 16. And I'm over here with 75 saying I can still lose. My eyes never left my screen. My heart was pounding. Everything was kind of going a little bit blurry because I was just like so hyper-focused and just like scared that I wasn't going to get my mount. So when I heard the music, I saw it drop into my inventory. I literally lost it. I started crying. I screamed, lost my voice for a few seconds. But I was like, it's finally over. I am done with extremes the entire expansion until 6.0. I finally done it. I can now get my mech dragon. I can now get what I wanted ever since I saw it during the live letter. My fight is over. All right. So in the mount section mind under tab 5 the diamond griever believed to have been absorbed into the diamond weapon this plate clad being answers the call of a horn imbued with the power of an unknown primal the summoner of whom is believed to have been a member of the Corvorsian resistance I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it or where that even is but it's interesting so let's go ahead and mount up. Alright, so let's go into cheese pose real quick. Alright, so the particle effects, as you can see, are a little bit diamonds that pop up out of nowhere. The wings are covered in a metal right across the edges, which is pretty cool. The helm itself looks pretty dope. I like the horns on the top and the side. Uh, the tail is same cladded as the ruby weapon. Nothing around the hips or the legs, just the kneecaps have like a diamond plate. Which is pretty cool. And I, I do have to say, even though ruby weapon is my favorite because it's red, I do gotta say this is definitely my uh, second favorite of the mounts. Alright, and of course, the music is from the fight itself. Which is pretty dope, and of course, it's a platinum color, as you can tell. Alright, so that is basically Diamond Weapon in a nutshell. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this entertaining. Any comments, questions about anything, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys never miss an upload. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys, and if you're going for this, good luck.